Hi guys, this is Birdwatcher again. I'm gonna build a video on how to build a support beam. So you have a mine, you don't want anyone inside your mine, you don't want your mine to cave in and worm unlimited or worm online, either or both places, your mine can have cave-ins. So you wanna protect your mine from cave-ins. And also you wanna protect your mine if you're on a different server and there's people around you. Um, just in case they accidentally run into your mine, it could be totally on accident and they hit your mine and next thing you know, you log in the next day and your mind is not what you wanted it to look like. What you're going to want to do is you're want to, going to want to make a bunch of shafts, which I just got done making. You'll see in prior videos how to make a shaft. Um, you're going to want to cut down some logs. And you're also going to need to make some ribbons out of iron. You'll see in videos how to do all of those things. I have, I have videos. So, but this is how this video is going to tell you how to make a reinforcement for your wall. So you're going to take a log on a shaft right click the shaft you want to select the log by double left clicking right click the shaft go to create mine door and support beams and you're going to see support beams popped up there you're going to want to click on that it's going to pop up in front of you and it's going to look unfinished so what do you do now you have an unfinished support beam you want to add to the crafting window so when you add it to the crafting window it's going to tell you exactly what you need you can see here i need a log two ribbons and three shafts i happen to knew that what i needed because i already checked beforehand but now i'm going to add those things so i'm going to stand on it i'm going to add my my log add my ribbons and i'm going to add my shaft um, I need three, so I'm going to throw in 42 because let's, you know, I can't count very well. All right, so I have a support beam now. You guys see me make, I'll make another one um, just so it's easy. And I'm going to hang these up also so people can see what they look like when they're hung up on the same video. So we're going to do it again. We add the support beam. We add the logs to the crafting window. We don't need them anymore. We just needed one. Okay, we add the shafts that it needs, and we add the ribbons. Bam, it's done for you. Now we have two support beams. So I'm gonna build two more. Hopefully I have enough materials here to build two more. And then we're gonna go in the mine and I'm gonna show you what you do with these things, why they're extremely important, or why I feel they're important. Maybe you're not gonna wanna build these. Maybe you don't like the way they look. I I honestly don't know. Um, I personally think they're important. So it's up to you. But if you're looking at this video, you might think they're important too and you might want to know how to build them. So hopefully this helps you. Here is some ribbons and shafts. All right, guys. So that's number three. We're going to build one more. I believe I have the resources to do it. I'm cutting down Mayan Bliss's whole area to make these videos for you guys. Not really. We have lots of trees here, don't worry. But it feels like it sometimes when I look out and I'm like, where are the trees? We're in trouble. Um, I need to cut down a tree really quick. Oh, I have logs behind me. Yay, I cut, I cut extras, guys. So we're good. We are going to use this last log and we are going to finish this one and then I'm going to go show you how to put them on a wall. All right. Holy smokes, your house looks good at a distance. I mean, it looks good close up too, but it looks really good. It looks really nice. Thank you so much. All right, guys. So we are going to go into my mine and we are going to put these on the walls. These are really neat. Um, I'm telling you, if you're playing on a server where there's people and you really have OCD, or maybe you just don't want other people inside your mind, you need to make these. I don't want to hear people coming over here crying or getting mad that someone got in their mind because they didn't make support beams when there's videos on how to make support beams. It's, it's really an easy thing. It doesn't take long and I'm, I made them. So here's how they work. If you put them on these walls, people cannot mine through them. They cannot get in your mind. It will stop them. 
So I'm going to disembark my cart and I'm going to double click a support beam. I prefer to put them right on the tile like you see there. Double click the support beam, click on the tile, reinforce. No one can get in here now. They can't get in that area. You can also put them here on this wall. You see? I was going to show this too if you want. If you don't want someone getting in, um, you can build floor reinforcements too. I'll do that video later. But there you go. So now say someone hit a rock tile on the outside of my mine. Or say they have a mine a little bit down from my mine over there. And they, they are mining my direction. Well, they can mine to your direction, but they might... Your, your whole mine might not be on deed. You might not have it all on deed. So you're not going to get through this reinforced wall if it's reinforced. So I hope that helps you guys. Hope you enjoy the video. That's how you do reinforcements.